I'm the villain. Not the man sending love letters to his best friend's fiance. And it didn't work. She chose me. Did she? My dearest Nan, this past year I've learned a lot about grief, but recently I can't quite explain why I so greatly feel the loss of you and you were never mine to lose. I want to make clear, before we met, I did think briefly a rich bride might be the answer. Save the house. like a fool, I thought it might save my mother. Do you miss her? I love remembering her. And the, the pain of remembering her. I cherish it. What I dread is the pain of forgetting. Still. You're the first to notice. Part of me has always belonged to you. I suppose by that I meant my heart belongs to you. You'll make a wonderful duchess. Now, because of my own cowardice, I shall forever be incomplete. We were so close, Nan, weren't we? You caused all this confusion with the wood chopping and with the grand speeches about how you want to fall in love with someone who's your equal. How dare you? Nan, listen, I... I no, it's too late. Where was all of this, the, 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 these feelings and the confusion when we first met? When you climbed out of a window above me. Yes! When we danced down a staircase. Yes! When we looked at each other, when we laughed when it felt like we immediately knew each other and that anything was entirely possible. Now together, we could go anywhere or, or do anything. It wouldn't matter if we were in a palace or a tree, as long as we were laughing and, and dancing and kissing and discovering and, and kissing again. When I realize now that I am desperately in love with you, and I have been since the first second I set eyes on you, Be mine. 